All right, I'm Jesse Stevens. I've been here at East Jackson since around the seventh grade, which it's a long story, but I remember having Miss Crow, Miss Becker. It was it was actually the end of sixth grade, and um, pretty much it it was just going into a completely different thing. I wasn't I was at an even smaller school beforehand, White County, and I moved around so much. So being here at East Jackson, I was here for the longest time in my entire school career. So I really kind of found myself some footing here. Well, with East Jackson, it really kind of brought me a sense of stability because I moved around a lot in my early childhood, which it had some good times and some bad times. But here at East Jackson, I got here and there was immediately, there were so many people who saw a talent in me. And that meant so much to me because they pushed me to be at the level that I am today. So I really feel like East Jackson prepared me for the real world in that aspect because they kind of assisted me in giving me that drive that I always had, but they really like nourished my drive to be successful, to be the best. So it's pretty crazy. Um, it, it even confuses me to this day, which is a little nerve wracking, but I got into Emory University in Atlanta, very happy about that. I got in there through the QuestBridge Scholarship, which if you're a first generation or if you're low income, you have to take a look at that because QuestBridge, what they do is they have an extensive application, like this is not your common app. This is pretty extensive, it is tough, but truly they want you to introduce yourself. They want you to embrace yourself and they'll give you a full ride. So currently I'm going to Emory on a full ride and that just, it means everything. It's so like freeing to not have to worry about my financial situation because my entire life I've pretty much had to worry for that. I mean, to this day, I work for my family and I help pay rent, I pay my phone bill. So it really kind of gives me a safety net that I wouldn't have without them. So there, there's definitely a lot of us and people go through their trials and tribulations. Everyone has their own problems. But if you truly have problems that extend through school, throughout school, it's, it's really a lot, but one thing I can tell you is stay intact with who you are and what you want to be. Because if, if you can foster that vision, it may take a few years for you to find out who you really are, but if you can find that and find something that you can go at, you can do really anything around here. When I graduate Emory, going into Emory, I want to go into a pre-medical field, so probably a biomed degree. So this is a very big part of my life. Science, I've always loved science science just like any other subject but as I'm a type 1 diabetic I have chronic migraines I have a lot of health problems but what it really has showed me connecting that to school and connecting it to my life is that it gave me this drive to help people it gave me the drive not just to change my own situation for the better but to change other situations for the better so going to a school like Emory I know that I'll be able to find the necessary connections so that I can actually change something I'm not just working for for a salary. I'm working for a cause that I believe in because I lived it.